Hello and welcome. This video will cover some of the more advanced features available to you when building a typical job within Talent Studio. Let's get started. I'll first show you how to import some metadata into the repository using the Metadata Import Wizard. In this case, I'm importing the metadata from a delimited file. I won't be using this specific file within our flow today, but it is important to know how to import this type of data. First, I'll right-click on File Delimited and select Create File Delimited. Give this metadata a name. In the Metadata Import Wizard, I'll define the source of the metadata by locating my file and clicking Open. Next, I will configure the wizard to properly parse the file into the necessary columns of data. And since this file has the column headings already included, I can use that information to name my columns. Once I am satisfied with my configurations, I can click Refresh Preview to confirm the data looks as I want it. And finally, I'll confirm the schema to make sure field names, lengths, and data types are properly defined. That looks good. Click Finish and our metadata is saved within our repository available to use within my job. Let's now create a global context variable, a variable that every job I create can access. I'll right click on contexts within my repository and select create context group. Give the new context a name. I'll then define the variables by providing a name within the name column, set my variable type as string, and set my default value as CA, although any state abbreviation could be used. And I'll click Finish. Now my global context variable is created and available to use within any job I create. Now I'm ready to create my job. I want a report presenting the average rating of movies released in the year 2000 by users in the state of California. I'm going to save myself some time and work by duplicating a previous job that already uses some of the data sets and connections I need. I'll right click on the existing job within the repository that I want to copy and select duplicate. I'll give it a new name and click OK. Double click on the duplicated job to open and edit. Before I start editing my flow, I need to define the contexts that will be used in this job. I'll go into the Context tab, click the Global Contexts button, and select the global context variable I want to use. In this case, it is the state context variable we just created. Now that my global context is set, I'll create a local context to filter on year. I must select the plus sign and provide a name for the variable, select the type, and set the default value, which is the year the movie I want to filter on, 2000. Let's now build up and configure my new flow. I'll just eliminate any components or steps I do not want included in my flow. I'll add my new components. I'll add a tmap to look up movie data from the table already populated in my MySQL data warehouse, a tsort row component, and finally a tfile output delimited component. I'll join my data with the rest of my flow. I'll also label the rows and components to make them easier to use when configuring our job. Let's now configure the Join Tmap. I'll double click on the Join Tmap component to open the configuration settings. First, I want to create an inner join by clicking the Tmap Settings button within the Lookup Users table and specify the join model as inner join. Then I want to add a filter expression based on one of our context variables. In this case, we are filtering on state equal to CA or California. So I select the expression filter button and using basic Java syntax, enter the function lookup underscore users dot state dot equals. And with my cursor between the parentheses, I press control space bar on my keyboard and begin typing context dot state. As I type, the list narrows down its choices and I can choose the context variable I want to use. With my join tmap component configured, I can click OK. Let's now configure the second tmap to join our movie data to my flow and filter by the year of the movie that I want. I'll join my data sets by connecting average ratings with lookup movies using the movie ID field. 
we'll create another inner join within lookup movies and this time using our local context variable we will add a filter expression to filter on the year released column i want to configure my movies out table to display the correct data so i'll drag the columns i need into my output table my movie's genre data is a single column that contains multiple values separated by a tilde. Let's make a quick change to that delimiter and change it to a pipe. I'll select the ellipses within the movie's output field to open up the expression builder. Talent has a number of predefined functions available. This one will work. So I will quickly configure my expression. I could even test my expression to make sure everything works out perfectly. Click OK, and my tmap is configured. I'll now configure the tsort row component by double clicking on the component and adding criteria by selecting the green plus sign. We want to sort our average ratings in descending order. Finally, we'll configure the output by selecting the component, adjusting the file name path to correctly reflect where I want the data to be output to on my computer. I can browse for my location or type it in the field. Let's run my job to generate our report. And it ran smoothly. If I want to view the output, right click on the output component and select Data Viewer to bring up my data. In the Data Viewer, I can view the output and even perform additional sorting and filtering to verify my results. Thank you for watching this video covering how to build a job using some of the more advanced features within the studio. Please continue to watch this series, The Day in the Life of a DI Developer, for more demonstrations and information regarding Talon Studio.